Hello guys, in today's episode, I'll be showing you how to use the, be the Bezier tool, or do I actually like to call it Bezier, but yeah, everybody's calling it the Bezier tool, the Bezier tool, so we'll call it the Bezier tool, and basically to activate that on Inkscape, you could press B, or you could come here and click right on this icon right here, that's the Bezier tool, so basically what it does is, it allows you to draw smooth lines that you wouldn't normally draw with your hands for example if you wanted to recreate this image i mean we all know that we can just go and trace the image right here just click apply and it's done but there's some times when you want to draw so the best thing to do is to use the bezier tool and we're going to zoom in here just so we can get it right and then you're going to click here and you're going to pull right up to this other side not pressing the mouse you just click and pull and you click here again and then you drag you see what I'm doing my mouse right I'm pulling it and I think it's okay there yes it's okay now you're always going to have this problem you see I can't really fix this well like if I needed to edit that I have to press enter and take a straight line up before I could continue but I'll show you how to fix that later so you can just do this it's not gonna be perfect though cuz yeah I'm just showing you how to use it alright we have that okay so you see this is a problem right here I don't want it to curve like this so what you can do is you can press shift L to make it a straight line back and then now you can actually zoom in more and try to edit it see yeah something like that and there you see that's done now we can do the same for the next part just going to do that yeah yeah but you get how it works so you can basically just do that but if you actually want to help yourself you can just Go ahead and trace the image since this um snapping tool is on i'll talk to you about the snap tool this is a snap tool over here you can disable it and you can enable it it's the tool that causes this snapping to occur you see it automatically aligns itself with this image in like you see i can't cross it over anyhow so it aligns itself with the image and to disable that you can just come and click here or you press shift and hold down five to activate and deactivate it and then what you can simply do is i'm going to activate it back now and i'm going to try to draw that again all right so you see you have here and then this other point and as you can see it's really easy to do it with the snapping tool on because it doesn't give room for errors do that and yeah you can do so many other interesting things with this tool see it's really easy okay so there's some other options up here that you should know about so for example you see here it's showing but a curve tool so if i click on it i'm drawing anything i'm drawing will be a curve so another way to edit that is to click on this other one here create a spiral path so basically what it does is this see you can like draw any kind of circle you want to see it's actually i don't actually like to use this one because it's not really that good but some people prefer it so actually i don't know who prefers it but yeah so do that you can create a spiral with that something like that and uh, press enter and you see there you have it just the way we wanted it now you can go ahead and explore the rest but let me show you what they do see this one um do I put this all right this one is basically like uh, you can use the notes tool to edit it so if i draw a square here you'll notice that the shape inside the square would be a circle the thing is it's not that perfect so so as you can see the one that's a square a circle came out so if i were to draw a triangle i think another kind of shape will come out of it 
they see what's happening there yeah, so this is the shape that came out from drawing a triangle and you can just basically do that with anything you want and then this other one says create a sequence of straight line segments so you see this one is just to create straight lines you can't bend it you just create straight lines that's just basically to use and then this one here says create a sequence of paraxial line segments Ooh, let's see what you do Alright, this one only creates lines that are parallel to it. You can see that. Alright, there you go. That's the Bezier tool for you. So, you can change the shape. This one, I don't actually like using these options here, but you can go ahead and check them out. So, and that's all I have for you for the Bezier tool. You can use it to pretty much draw anything you want. Right down from mo characters in movies to graduation hats all right thank you guys i'll see you in the next video